Yes, this is the another type of heat exchanger model. This is a fixer tube, multi pass. Fixer tube means uh, the tubes are fixed on both ends. Here there's a tube sheet and there's a tube sheet and the tube the the uh, tubes inside are fixed inserted in the tube sheet and uh, it is uh, uh, made 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 it loop, leak proof. That is why it is called a uh, fixer tube. Both ends are fixer tube. Multi pass because he can see this is one pass here, other pass here. He can see here one, two, three passes are here. Pass the liquid is coming from one side and then also coming here. There is another section here, then th three sections. So this is a multi pass. Whereas the previous one only one single pass. And uh, these are the baffles. You can see the baffles here one baffle, baffle, baffle. These baffles I told you before the, the function are two functions for baffles. One is to prevent any bending of the sagging of the tubes, it will prevent any bending of the tubes and make it uh, the gap between the tubes fixed and also another one is for a good circulation of uh, hot and cold liquid through the baffle it will go like the liquid is coming from here down and come here like this so good conduction of uh, heat transfer takes place because of the uh, baffles and here also you can see uh, one inlet here and uh, this is also one inlet here and uh, one outlet here one outlet here so one for cold liquid inlet and uh, one uh, uh, cold liquid outlet one hot liquid inlet, one hot liquid outlet. This is about multi-pass fixer tube uh, heat exchanger. Now coming to this, this is another model of a, a heat exchanger. This is a model, you can see here, these are tubes here. Too much, this is also actually, this is, this is working before. Now it is because of too much rust, corrosion inside you can see here. Look at here, too many tubes are here. And these tubes are, uh, this is a tube bundle, it's called a tube bundle. And you can see there's a gasket. This gasket is actually not a gasket, it's a, it's a o ring. You can see o ring to prevent leak. And this is one the cover for the uh, heat exchanger here. This is the cover. So this is one inlet, and this, this liquid is going to the tubes. And here there is also another cover here. This outlet. So you can see here this outlet of the liquid after passing transfer heat, it will go this way. And this is the inlet for the shell side. And this is the shell, the liquid is coming here. It can be either cold or hot. And it, it will uh, the, start mixing the water, uh, hot and cold liquid inside. That is the speciality of any heat exchanger. It never mix and uh, transfer heat. And this is the other side uh, going out. This is, what, uh, this is how it works. This is a working model. Now coming to this, this is a YouTube uh, heat exchanger. Why is called a U-tube? Because the one end of the tube is bent and make it made it and it look like a U-shape. That is why it is a U-tube. This side is floating, whereas this side is fixed, the one which we showed before. Same thing here also, two inlet, one inlet here, one outlet here. One inlet here, one outlet here. For the one side for the uh, tubes, or one side is for the uh, shell and uh, like that the previous, like this. And this is the channel head. Say, then the cover. This is the not a uh, single pass, it's a multi pass here also. You can see one pass here, another pass here, two sections here. That's about U2. Now, coming to this one, this is a multi pass floating head. Multi pass floating head. Why it is called floating head? See here, this, uh, this head, this is the tube bundle is floating here. That's why you can see inside, this is not fixed, this is uh, floating. And this side also floating. There's no tubes here, it is going extended here. That's why it's not fixed. That's why it's called multi-pass floating head. And uh, there's a baffles, so you can see here baffles. And also two inlets, two, one inlet here, one inlet for the shell, one inlet for the tubes. And uh, here also you can see one outlet here, one outlet for the cold and hot liquid. This is about uh, uh, multi-pass floating head uh, heat exchanger. These are some di different types of heat exchanger, uh, shell and tube heat exchanger. These are all shell and tube heat exchanger. Thank you.